need to wait for Darren. I'm sorry. Darren. We will begin shortly. of light, love, and hope will be expressed in a very visual, exciting way. And we are filled with joy and maybe even filled with some tears as we give thanks and as we remember a very loving family member, a dedicated church member and dedicated community member, Dave Olney whose name and whose legacy in life is honored in this project. So let us gather our many voices together as one and sing the song, Hymn of Promise. It is printed on your bulletin. I'm gonna invite you to stand so we can really hear and collect our voices together. In the border is a flower, in the seed an apple tree, in cocoons a hidden promise, butterflies will soon be free. In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be. Unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. There's a song in every silence, seeking word in melody. There's a dawn in every darkness, bringing hope to you and me. From the past will come the future, what it holds a mystery, unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. And in our end is our beginning, in our time infinity, in our doubt there is believing, in our life eternity, in our death the resurrection, at the last of victory. Unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. Before I read our scripture tonight, uh, I want to acknowledge uh, our team that has been working on this dream. And uh, we have had meetings and site visits and prayers and discussions. 
And so if you are a member of our Dreaming Pickleball Committee, if you will stand up so I can say thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are you? Stand up. There you go. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right after this. Playground net. I'm Reverend Donnie Mitchum, Reverend Susan Hefner Hewn, and I have the joy to um, pastor at this church, a church who wants to reach out and love its community. Our scripture reading today comes from 1 John chapter 3. My dear children, let's not just talk about love. Let's practice real love. This is the only way we'll know we're living truly living in God's reality. At Christ UMC, our mission is to be a beacon of light, love, and hope to our community. That's how we practice real love. Real love for our community looks like making sandwiches and packing book bags, praying for teachers in our local schools, And real love looks like people ball too. <laughs> Today we gather to bless the ground that will soon hold a basketball court and multiple pickleball courts for the community to gather and play. And this is the most important thing, to come to know more about the abundant love of Jesus Christ. This court will be known as Dave's Corner. Dave only was a man who was big in life, six foot eight. And more importantly, Dave was big in heart. He had a passion for sports, teaching young people about sports, really, Dave just had a passion for other people. He did. He loved talking to other people and getting to know them. If there was a community event at this church, you could be 100% certain that Dave only would be there. Towering over the rest of us, greeting our neighbors, We are grateful for the only family who have allowed us to honor Dave in this way. If you want to see what this is going to look like at the end, I direct your attention to the table at the back. We have a um, mock-up there. Uh, you can see what the court's going to look like. It's beautiful. And um, there's also some opportunities if you want to be a part of contributing to Days Corner. And now for the blessing of this place. To the glory of God, in the presence of all those gathered here today, I now direct that the ground be broken for Dave's Corner, an extension of Christ United Methodist Church the responsibility and privilege rest upon us to nurture and care for this place and all those who will come here. This place shall be a place of the people of God and a place devoted to the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can you respond? We bless this ground today. We bless this ground today.
this be a place where we all gather, young and old, families and singles, and that all will feel welcomed and valued and respected here. We bless this ground today. Let this place be a visible sign to all that God's work is alive and active. We bless this ground today. in this place hope lives new life is born this day and for years to come we bless this ground today in Christ, I invite you to pray with me. Oh God, we are paying attention for you are doing a new thing, and that is the promise that you give us, that in life you are always bringing about new things. So bless this ground. May this space be a place where all who come will feel and know your love and know that they are beloved. For it is in the name of Christ and with the gift of the Spirit that we pray. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today is the day that one year ago Dave died. And this ground is now becoming something new. And as we remember his life, we also celebrate and give thanks for the sure and certain hope of resurrection and that that God is always doing something new, new in us, new in the church, new in this community. So may we go forth from this place knowing that God is doing something new in you and in this space, God is preparing a place for light to shine very bright go in God's grace and peace. Amen and amen.
and on behalf of Pastor Susan and Reverend Donnie and my great friend Julie Olney, we love you and thank you for tuning in and being a part of our blessings today. If you have any questions, you need any information, come by the church anytime. Check out our website at xumc.org. If you do want to give, there's a spot there on our webpage, xumc.org slash give, and you'll find a donation category that is designated for Dave's Corner. We're hoping that within three to four months, we'll have this up and it will be a fully lit, full-size basketball court um, open to the community. 
and we hope that uh, in the next few months you'll be here and be a part of it. Come and join us in sharing the love, light, and hope with our community.